Hey, it's Tao. I just want to say thank you for anyone who subscribed or watched my videos and continue to do so, even though I don't upload as as frequent as people would like. Um, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Letting old vices die and moving into higher transformation. This is a very broad question and when I get a broad question I don't really know where to begin because I like to have specific questions so I can like hone in on a specific answer but when, when we talk about old vices I feel that I need to look up the word define vice. The definition as per Google immoral or wicked behaviour criminal activities involving prostitution, pornography and drugs. That's very specific, isn't it? So something that's not morally accepted or seen as okay from what I see. So something that's taboo or what society doesn't seem as, doesn't put in the good category, right? So when a Scorpio asks me, letting go of old vices, so that, that initially says to me, and this is just one perspective, and I could ramble on this question for days because it's that broad right first of all we need to see why we see things as taboo whatever we see as as negative is that something that uh the people around you or your culture or society label as bad or immoral and what's your personal belief on it so i think that would be the quest first question to ask is how you feel about it what you think about it and i hate to go this as a pisces moon this is where it's a little bit conflicting, where my Pisces moon says, oh, immoral, wicked behaviour, is there such thing? I think people are all kind of as they are and they need to be accepted. I think that there are you know, bad things that do happen because of circumstances that lead to that. And that's another, another story when I look at that, right? My Pisces moon says that everybody is equal and what people do and whatever behaviour they have is none of my business, right? So when we look at the wicked or bad behaviour about ourselves, I think the first question to ask is why you do that? I, I think as the Scorpio part of me says, we need to understand why, right? And there's a deeper meaning for everything. So I just want to add in here that we're talking about old vices. So if they're new vices or they're just easy vices that you can just say, I don't like my, that behaviour, I'm just going to stop it and then you go ahead and stop it. I'm assuming that's not the scenario that we're talking about because we're talking about old vices, right? So things that we haven't been able to let go as easily. And this is where I'm going to lead into a, a scenario around a, addiction. Gabo Mate explains that addictions are any behavior or activity that distracts you from momentarily from your life that may cause negative consequences in the future this is not just what society sees and it's instantly when we talk about addictions we kind of think of things like drugs uh, gambling smoking alcohol um, but there's other there's lots of other addictions you've got to remember when it comes to society that you got to figure out what's right and wrong right you got to figure out for yourself what your morals and what your values are what you're okay with what you're not okay with so Things like other addictions are working. They don't see workaholics as an issue. Um, there's shopping addiction. That's real bad addiction. I've done that, been there, killed my my credit when I was younger. Um, it was very, very irresponsible, but I was there. I totally understand it. There's um, sex is an addiction. It's addicted to gaming. I've been there too. Gaming was hard to stop. Um, even like even watching TV shows, that's an addiction. I even can escape into sleeping. <laughs> there's other things too, like consumerism. There's uh, addiction to power. That's a massive one when we look at the world, right? When we look at the governments, etc. Especially in America, but power is a very very big one for Scorpios because Scorpios usually have an authority parent. So usually we are, we understand the bullying thing. We, we see that from our parents, we learn that from our parents and in a sense the whole control part of it when we're younger Scorpio kind of makes it feel good because we're in control and 
when we're in control, we feel a bit more okay with ourselves because it's not so scary. And we've got to remember the life of a Scorpio is based on fear and anxiety because we never learnt love, we never learnt grey, we never learnt safety. So we have a level of anxiety that kind of lives within us. That's why we need to understand so much. Understanding is the, what we do to deal with that anxiety or that constant fear that we have. That's why we don't like things like unknown things. We like to know a lot of things. That's just what we do as a technique to survive in the world and to feel a little better, be okay with ourselves, <laughs> right? Because it's we're, we're in a constant state of fear. I'm going to remember that. And so if we look at, let's just say as an example, uh, drugs, now, they, they say that the drug in itself is not actually addictive by nature. It's actually the person you, the person that can be more susceptible to being addicted. So there are people who use drugs and they get off it because they decide to stop and then they stop. There are others who use it in the same amount of time and they want to stop and they can't stop. And then you've got to ask the question, why can't they stop? What are they getting from it? So what, essentially what they're getting is it's a painkiller. It's a distraction. It makes them feel normal for a certain amount of time, right? Because their life, essentially they, they, these people have struggles, more of a struggle with dealing with life and living life. It's a fear of life. Fear of living because dying is easier, right? But, it's, but this is all unconscious, right? So it's a fear of living. When they do drugs, they escape for a moment and they're away from their them, away from feeling what they normally feel, which is anxious and fear, right? Without realizing it, because it's all unconscious for a Scorpio. So they escape into that and they feel great because they're for a moment they don't have all that. <laughs> so it's a painkiller. So why are they in pain? What is this pain that we're talking about? When I learnt and researched into this, I, I delved into I think it was Vancouver and Do Dr. Gabo Mate. He's like a, he's like now a trauma therapist dealing with um, like highly addicted people, like I think heroin opiate users, cocaine, heroin, cocaine, etc. Like real bad people, ones that they prostitute themselves, they loot, they're pretty much dying from suicides, from chronic illnesses, that and. It's the worst state that you can can imagine, right? When you, when you listen to him talk about it, he describes, he explains that, that it's the reason why that they're more susceptible. These people are usually are in pain and they're suffering. And what the pain is is usually associated with their childhood, the trauma that they've gone through, whether they've suffered from abuse physically, mentally and emotionally. And then either they turn into um, prostitution associated with their drug addiction, but essentially all addictions are in search for oblivion, in search for forgetting, and that's essentially what it is, escaping for the moment, right? And he explains that these people who are more susceptible to be uh, addicted, they've come from crazy chaos suffered so many type, different types of abuse in their whole lives and that's all they know <laughs> and it's essentially all linked with love and how they understand love or lack of love because their parents didn't show them what grey is <laughs> to feel safe and this is tragic when you think about it. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. So when we look and the world looks at a drug addict and they see them as, you know, objectively they're looking in, they have no understanding of why. They just think that they, they're they just being dumb, choosing this path and being irresponsible, whatever it is. But, you know, when you actually learn and you look into it, it's so tragic when you see that they're just all people in pain. So this is an extreme example of, you know, like a bad habit, but essentially we do everything that we do is because of something. You've got to figure out what that something is before you can let go of it. Otherwise, as a Scorpio, you're probably just replacing an addiction with another addiction. It's just a, a distraction with another distraction, right? And I know that because the question was so broad, I can only answer it this broadly, and I don't know if I actually 
manage to answer it. Um, but let me know if there is a specific, more specific thing that you want me to elaborate on. So if we go back to the question, how do you let old vices die? Depending on how easy or hard it is, right? Easier ones, you should just be able to mentally commit to it and then drop it. If it does become, is it if it's an actual addiction as such, this is where you need to ask and, and dig into the psychological reason behind it. Um, there's a technique to ask five whys. So keep asking why until you get to the root cause of it. And generally the root cause of it comes back to your childhood and how you actually learned and what you understood of emotions and of love. Whether love equals pain. Because essentially we have a more... People in these scenarios have a more intimate relationship with pain and suffering compared to love and happiness, which is a bit foreign, which is a psychological thing that's so hard. How do you kind of accept happiness and love when all you've been shown is pain and suffering? You can't learn that love and is, is pain and suffering. Love and hate is the same, but it's not. It's just we learnt it wrong. <laughs> It's hard to then form a concept out of nothing. It's not easy to be able to reprogram or change the patterns or circuit wiring of your brain. But it does get easier to manage when you actually address that. So whether this scenario is a very extreme scenario, but it was best to be able to describe what I'm trying to get at here. You can't let the vice, whatever the vice is or vices are, you can't let it die unless you know why. So the first thing to, to do is ask yourself how you feel about it currently, what you understand and what your beliefs are around it, and then ask yourself why and what you get out of it, what's a good thing that you get out of it, and why do you think you need that good thing, and then keep delving into it and then... and asking why to be able to get to the root cause of of the whole thing i mean even if you solve whatever these vices are right and you get rid of them it doesn't mean that you move on to higher transformation and what that means i am working on another video and i've already started it because um i started that before i did this because the question was so broad i didn't know how to tackle it but i i am going to upload another video regarding transformation or the evolution of a Scorpio where I kind of relate the stages of a Scorpio and what they're kind of learning or doing as a basic framework as if you will of what is actually happening so and probably in that video I'll explain what it means for higher transformation <laughs> but I hope you got something out of it whoever's listening to me still Thanks for listening guys. Bye.